I think a project is, I mean, without being pedantic or metaphoric, it's like a marathon. So you can, you know, you devise a concept and at the beginning the team is very small. So you are the architects, there's a client, there's very few consultants and then you come up with a design that this is what we want to do, this is what the client wants to do. But basically to evolve that design into a finished building, you won't be able to do that on your own. So there are decisions you make which are based on your own criteria and on your own values, but then there are decisions which you need to make for others which might not be at the table at the time. So it's interesting how we're going to build this, but you don't have a contractor at the time. So I think this is the best way to build it and you make your best guess. So I think it's a lot of, you know, you stick to what you believe the building should be, but you also need to be a lot of accommodating. And uh, what I've learned in my career, you know, doing non-standard buildings is the, the attitude and it's almost like being diplomatic and being able to understand other people's approaches is much more valuable than all the stuff you think you might know. Because at the other day, a project is not a single person, it's not a single office. It's a collaboration between many different parties. So it's important that you're aware of that and you embrace that process, even in presence or in advance when they're not there.